Hello, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I got rhythm, I got music, I got jewelry, who could ask for anything more? So there's some um, faux pearls, there's lots of uh, uh, barrel clasps, there's this chain with looks like vinyl on it, some more faux pearls, some nice beads. There's something from Ardeen, which is like a, a jewelry um, clothing store, um, something on a cord or polyester cord. Down, he uh, down here, there's a couple of barrettes. I saw some other interesting things. I'm trying to remember where I saw them. Oh, uh, there's uh, some interesting pins. On the bottom here, there's uh, an interesting looking clip earring, uh, probably a keychain. So, um, I don't have to worry about a heavy jar. There's a, a few pounds there. I'd probably say at least two pounds, maybe three. I probably will weigh that, but I'll go get my uh, X-Acto knife. I'll get the weigh scale and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. And as you can see, that's four pounds, seven ounces. Uh, so that's uh, a lot of jewelry. I I always end, underestimate what these things weigh, and I'm sure the plastic container doesn't weigh very much. Um, so we'll get rid of that and taken off the tape, and we're ready to do a little bit of a a spill. Oh, there's something in plastic. Okay, I think that's probably enough to get us started. So the first little thing, the smallest thing that fell out was this. Oh, a little set of feet. I think these are often given um, as pro-life mementos, reminding us that uh, even the small of us, smallest of us um, have life and are worth protecting. Put that to the side. Here is a, ooh, this is kind of pretty. This is, a, I would say, copper bracelet. It's, ugh, okay, it's not too bad once you figure out how to get it on. Look at the cool design. It's, it feels like it's bit, uh, maybe the, uh, excuse me, maybe the copper has been um, treated with heat and then sealed. I'm not sure if it's a decal or anything in there. It just looks more like the kind of, um, stuff that happens when you heat treat copper but there's definitely a nice shiny uh, seal on it so that would last for a while uh, if you can wear copper that would be a nice uh, bracelet and you can certainly you know bend it uh, reshape it to fit more easily well, I kind of like that that's something different I've never seen before this I'm gonna pull out because it seems to be all together so this was eleven dollars and fifty cents from Ardeen it is a uh, two-stranded pearl necklace and I don't see a, a clasp anywhere I think by pulling it that way I've just uh, tangled it a little bit more so let's see yeah, I think this is just one. Let me pull it this way so they're more equal. There we go. So we have large and smaller faux pearls connected with uh, metal links uh, on the card. So. Uh, Certainly I could donate this as new or, you know, something that could be sold new with tag. I don't really sell things yet, but uh, at least not this kind of stuff. Um, but that's very nice. And here's more pearls. And they seem to be long as well, so I think I'll pull them out. Oh, there's a few things tangled with them. So again... Molded in place, um, you know, nice color, sort of uh, ivory, not not that stark white. I don't know. So there's something about stark white pearls that just turns me off as they're too full looking. 
but this is going to be, hmm, what do we want to say? 36 inches, 18 times 2, 9 times 4. Um, I'll probably, again, that's something I can donate. And here's more faux pearls. These ones are on a stretchy cord. That's unusual. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's... Uh, okay, so there's a little bit of a tango happening here. I'll, uh, this is part of the tangle. Oh. So... They're kind of similar. This is a, uh, ugh, it's got hair in it. This is an earring. This is a broken thing. It looks like they could be um, made by the same company or whatever, same kind of earring. So I'm not sure how I would repurpose that. I definitely would clean the hair out of that one. But those will stand uh, to the side with the single earrings. See what happens. And I was trying to get this lovely pinkish. I thought were pink pearls, but um, I think it's a multi-strand necklace that's been caught up with other things. So just give me a second here while I, yeah, there's a lobster claw clasp. Something is stuck. Okay, so here is, oh, this is two necklaces. They're stuck together, so two necklaces with barrel clasps. One is this lovely uh, sort of peachy pink set of pearls. I don't know if I can get it to, there we go. That's pretty focused, well focused. Whoops. So as soon as I touch the camera to focus it, it unfocuses. So let's try this again. There we go. And stuck together, and I thought these were meant to be um, one necklace. Uh, graduated colors, sort of the ombre colors of light to darker pink of some plastic faceted beads. There we go. And as I thought, these two, they're both, they're both on um, stretchy. <laughs> um, so anybody who has uh, a slight difficulty with clasps, let me see if I can get them to there we go. Anybody with difficulty with class could probably put these over their head and they could wear them individually or together. Very pretty. Let's see how long they are. I like these. I like the colors. Maybe because I'm feeling like it should be spring. Okay, definitely longer than 18. So probably 18 and 4, 22 inches. So easy, easy over the head. Um, and uh, excellent condition, very clean. Now this was in a bag, and I think I'm going to leave it in a bag. Whatever those that they are, those are like beaded beads. They're giant. Oh, I just broke them. Oh, they're magnetic. Ah! Okay, so... <laughs> there are two of these magnetic necklaces. This is uh, some kind of I-cord, or braided, not braided, but knitted cord. Um, interesting. You know what? I think I'm going to net donate these away to the uh, the gratis free jewelry shop for people who have difficulty um, with necklaces. This would be nice and soft, I think. And then it just closes with the magnetic clasp. Here, I thought I broke them. Okay. More beads. This is a very nice jewelry jar. I'm going to have to make sure that I uh, stop after to make sure it's not too long of a video. Okay. A um, few things tangled here. Okay, again, molded in place beads in black. Um, are they molded in place? Let me look a little closer here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, they are. Sorry, just because of the the cord is um black and it's two stranded. I almost thought for a minute that they were actually attached with wires, but they're not. So um nice plastic necklace, lightweight, um, can be cleaned and donated. Here's a black suede cord with absolutely nothing on it. I will put this with my kids' jewelry supplies because they could easily string um, pony beads on this or beads with large holes and make a necklace because there's a clasp and a ring. Okay. Another... Another stretchy. I'm... I'm going to pull out those two pinky ones because I really wonder. Okay, so a minute ago we had these pinky ones. Well, now we have one with the Aurora Borealis finish. They are all the same length. They're all stretchy. So again, they could all be worn together. Or not. Separately. Three, two or one necklaces. Here's, oh, it's a stretchy bracelet but it actually has a barrel clasp you can see it's plastic white plastic come on focus please there we go white plastic faceted beads um interesting put that with the rest of the plastic jewelry here's another one this one is heavier i think this is a combination of glass and i'm gonna put it like this there we go Maybe it'll focus then, or I can at least use my other hand to focus it. Come on. There we go. So glass. Yeah, actually, maybe these, it's hard to tell if these little blue bicones are plastic or glass, but definitely the large uh, turquoise ones and the clear ones are glass. So that's nice. Um, some nice beads, a nice little bracelet, very wearable. Summer, very summery, but... Um, Depending on the outfit you're wearing it with, you could wear it all year round. So very nice. Here's this kind of a bracelet. I don't know if it's, oh, it is. Okay, so it was like that, but you can actually bend it out. It's a little different. You can see that it's made of black and silver tone wires that come around. Um, a little more masculine looking, perhaps but uh, a good size for a woman to wear and uh, uh, slightly adjustable. Very nice. I don't know if, I don't see any maker's mark. I didn't, uh, I didn't bring a magnet. Oh well, we all manage without a magnet. So there's another bracelet. And here's an, yet another bracelet and this one has crosses on it, little gold tone crosses all the way around. And I get, it looks like they're riveted in in some way. So it'll, probably an aluminum bracelet. A uh, little stiff, but again, does fit a, a standard seven and inch wrist. Blah. So um, very nice, good condition, just needs a good cleaning. Another barrel cross necklace. I wonder if somebody was making these because they're all on stretch cord. You never know. You just never know. This is, you know, classic um, clear and black, you know, white and black with a larger bead in the center here. This bead, I think, is glass, yeah. The others might be glass as well. At least the, they're all cold. Like they all feel cold. So I think that based on the weight of it, I think that's another glass bead necklace. Um, there's a single earring. Here is a little chip bead, chip stone necklace. It's got, well, it's obviously, it's lost its part of its clasp. Somebody's clasped it together in that way so it's lost the hook or the lobster claw that goes on there those are probably amethyst 
Oh, I never remember what those blue and green ones are called. You know, adventuring quartz, maybe some jade, maybe some uh, carnelian or quartz, some oh, poke, uh, leopard jasper. And they're just on a string, a knotted string. So this is, okay, so 18 inches. Um, rather than putting a clasp on it, I would probably just take the stone chips off and save them for other jewelry, repurpose them into some stone jewelry. Where am I gonna put my repurposed pile? Hmm, well there's the kids, I'll put it over there near the kids pile. Here's, oh, oh, this must be a bookmark. What else could this possibly be? Beautiful um, little owl pendant, owl silhouette, and on the other side, a little owl charm, and connected by um, a silk-like cord, probably, you know, what we call mice, mouse, mouse tail, um, that is really sweet. That's a very nice bookmark. I wonder if the gratis shop gives away bookmarks. Interesting. I'll have to save that. Possibly for them. And I have something with spades on it. Or paddles. So I had to uh, detangle this uh, paddle pendant or paddle necklace. And I took some time away to detangle a whole bunch of other things. So I've seen them, but uh, it'll be new to the camera. So here are these spade or paddles on a ring for a pendant. And it's held by a single ring. It's not that sturdy. I would worry about the thing coming apart. Um, and a lightweight chain, very good condition, that comes up and is joined at the top. So there's two hooks. I'm not sure if... That's just the type of closure they put on it, or if this is meant to hook onto some kind of outfit. Uh, it certainly works as a closure. Uh, a very lightweight necklace. So I probably will donate it away. Then there's this, which this is 9, 12. Okay, so this is, this is very short. I don't know that it's meant to be a wrap around. Well, maybe I could, I don't know. Is it meant to be a wraparound bracelet? No. Whatever it is, it's a very short necklace. It's got a ring here. Um, bunch of silver tone chains. What have we got? One. Sorry. One, two, four chains. Comes up to here. Well, I guess it could be an anklet. And then there's the extender, but it's like 7, 14 inches. And some of the chains look gold tone and some of the chains look silver tone. I don't know what this is. I don't know what I'd do with it. I put it in the to be determined pile, which is over there with the kids' jewelry, I think. And I did in the tangle find a second uh, or a match, a second earring, a, set, a match. So here's this pair of earrings, very lightweight, very colorful. Um, probably give those away. But for the first pair of earrings. Uh, in the tangle, I found this lovely little shamrock, you know, with. Uh, an inlay some probably some resin in there it's not marked but you look at the color of the chain and tell me what you think doesn't that look like a very oxidized a very tarnished silver chain and we get it up here close to the camera you can see I think the 925 there and it says um oh i saw it there it is if i can get that to focus nine to five on the spring ring itself well, almost 
There we go, 925, it's upside down. But so that I'll take that, um, so I'll take that non-silver pendant off of that chain and clean it up. So some sterling, not too often that I get sterling these days. Um, there was this pretty little necklace and it has, let's see if it'll show us, it have a heart and a key. Now I'm not sure that if these were originally on here or not, because you can see that there's some older copper rings involved. So I'm not sure what the story is, but that's a cute little key and a cute little heart. No, no marking. And a nice little gold tone chain. And then when you go down to this end, this is even more peculiar. Um, we have a spring ring clasp and a barrel clasp. So I'm not, uh, not sure if someone was having trouble with spring rings and added a barrel clasp to make it easier. Uh, that's all, like, certainly, I, have, I needed some way of making a little teeny tiny extension. I have a feeling that it was the, it was for the, oh, the barrel clasp just feels almost a little, no, it's not magnetic, okay. Well, this stuff is dirty. So there's a barrel clasp added to this. So it needs some fixing up. I wanna get rid of those dirty copper rings put some gold tone rings in there and figure out the clasp situation. So that's a, that's a pretty little necklace. Then there was this necklace and this is quite lovely. Um, blingy, um, probably glass rhinestones, a key. And it's attached using a, um, not a jump ring, a split ring. You know, the kind of like you use for your keys. So this can be taken off this, uh, ball chain quite easily actually it could be taken off anyway quite easily but um goes up to an extender and a lobster claw clasp why you would put an extender like this on a ball chain i don't understand but it seems to be the fashion that these days that everything comes with a an extender whether it needs it or not and you'll see the little teeny tiny avon clasp and it says on the back and r for the manufacturing location. Then there is this sweet little uh, necklace. Guess you would call it a Y necklace or because it's Y shaped. Pretty little graduated pink rhinestone, silver tone, um, lobster claw clasp, very wearable condition, a good 20 inches. What else have we got? Then we have this. This is a lightweight, inexpensive chain. And because of the way it's finished here, it looks to me like this is um, where you, you, you buy the jewelry chain by the foot. And then it's not even got a ring. It's just got a... a doesn't have a ring at this end where it should have one to fix finish it properly but uh, just a spring ring clasp to close it um, again you know 20 22 inches in great condition uh, you know faux pearls nice little chain then there's this and this is a little Egyptian pressed not sure which this side doesn't look as clear as this side but maybe they're both supposed to be I guess they're both different on each side so so Egyptian symbols pressed into something I'm not sure if there's any particular meaning it's rough enough you can't tell but it's on a seed bead necklace with a barrel clasp and is that barrel oh just one half of it's really tarnished and one half's not Okay, so again, 18 inches. And then there's this. This is a uh, faux suede lobster claw clasp. And it's just a, a, a necklace with these metal shapes tied together. Um, 
lightweight. You can wear that with a lot of things. You can wear it with a dress. You could wear it with jeans. So a lot of necklaces in here. And then one more silver chain. Um, so here at the bottom is the pendant. Look at that gorgeous little stone in there. I wish I knew uh, what kind of stones those were. I'm assuming they're just, you know, nice rhinestones. But you can see here on the, there it says 925RJ. So I'll have to look up what RJ stands for unless that's a manufacturer. And then the chain kind of looks coppery, but I think it's just the way it's tarnished. I've seen that happen before. Now, this is the oddest thing. This, too, has a barrel clasp added to the spring ring clasp. This spring ring clasp does say, where was it? There it was. There's the 925 upside down. Um, there's the, I don't know if I can get it to focus. There's the 925 on the spring ring. So I'll definitely be taking this, uh, non-silver barrel clasp off of this silver necklace and looking up what 925RJ stands for. If you know, and if I don't put it in the video because I don't find it out, let me know if you know. Well, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I videoed way too much for this first session, so I'm going to break it here, and then we'll be back with part two, three, and maybe, who knows, even part four of this plastic jewelry jar or container. I um, hope you're having a great day. See you next time.